update the scoreboard here. This is the third game. I had them do random. Both of them do random. And we have Chinese for blue. This is a very good Chinese start to get the peep in so fast. And then Song Song is playing as Vikings. So Vikings versus Chinese. This would be cool. Both very good civilizations for many different reasons. We'll start with Song Song's map. Song Song has his main goal to the right of the PC. This is a great map for walling if you want. So you can build his barracks and a couple houses here. Wall off here and wall off here. Protects his gold, protects his wood lines. And this does not take a lot to wall either. So we'll see what he chooses to do. The main stone is over here. If he needs to go to that at some point. And you look at Blue's map. And Blue also has a wallable map. The wall in front of the golds. And eventually wall off on this side. And an easier wall off on this side. And if he does that, he'd wall in his main gold, his main stone. And even secondary stone. I love the fact, I, I love King of the Desert, don't get me wrong, but I love the fact that these guys have lots of options when it comes to their wood and their golds and their stones. When you're watching King of the Desert, sometimes you feel bad for players because there's so many ponds in their wood lines. Now, the reason I hate Chinese is because the start can be difficult. However, if you can get a good start, they're a wonderful civilization. I'll actually show you this because we don't see Chinese a lot. And a lot of people might not know. First of all, you start with plus three extra villagers. But you don't start with any food. So you get loom immediately. And then it's important you find your sheep. So you can collect the food to create the next vill. If everything goes right, then normally what happens is you have a vill or two up on your opponent. Also, the technologies cost less. This is huge. Feudal castle and imp. They're so cheap. Which means if you're in a good position, it'll be even better for you. Or maybe that'll bail you out of a bad position financially or economically. The town center to support more population, not a big deal. Line of sight could be nice. And then of course in community games, we've got the demo ships there. And then you have the Chuko Nu. I love the Chuko Nu. It's a great archer unit later in the game. Rogatry effects, the scorpions, and the attack. And what I really like about Chinese is the open tech tree. Look at this. They can go for Arbalest. Um, they can go for Champion, they can go for Halberdier, they can go for Heavy Camel, they can go for Cavalier. And then you look at the upgrades available, and do you see any X's here? No, you don't. So if you want a civilization with an open tech tree to give you some options, go with the Chinese. Dude, delicious. thank you for gifting Hank the sub. Hank, welcome back for five months, man. Congratulations. I'm paying attention to chat. Also, no, I don't hate the Chinese. I just said I love the Chinese, man. Don't put words in my mouth. The Vikings, their tech tree isn't quite as open. They lack bloodlines, but it's one of those civs that has a defined tech tree that's very solid. So often they will go for a drush into crossbows or man-at-arms into crossbows later on. And their economy is so strong because starting in Feudal Age, they get Wheelbarrow for free. And then starting in Castle Age, they get Handcart for free. One thing that I'm sure everyone wants to see is Berserks in this game. Still, it's kind of a rarity, but they are stronger than they used to be in AOC. Well, Little Kingdoms has balanced them out a little bit. Why don't you see the Chinese too often in Expert games? Um, well, first of all, they're probably better in a team game format than they are in 1v1s. I think there's some better options in 1v1s. The fact that a lot of those bonuses that I showed you apply to your teammates as well makes them a cool team game sieve. In Age of Conquerors, before we involved these expansions, we often saw Chinese involved in 4v4s. I don't know where this bill's going for gold. I don't know why he's not going here. Kind of weird. Oh, you know what? He's probably looking for his boar. He hasn't scouted that, has he? Why am I... Hogling for the wrong. Yeah, he's looking for the boar. <laughs> just found it. That's really bad. That's really bad that he just found that. It's because he was luring in here. But anyway, I think that the expansions just... The civs are stronger than the other civs. So I think the expansion civs, because they're so strong, they eliminate a lot of the other choices that we might see. A very late boar, but I think we'll be okay here. It's a shame he had to go to sheep so early, but he had two deer. No shortage of food for blue. And blue is just full walling up. Red is the one going up to feudal age this time. If you remember last game, red was the one to wall up. I think blue is 
I mean, he's not building a barracks. I think he might just try and fast castle this one or go for a very late feudal attack. <gasps> oh, this would be so sick. This would be so sick. So, this one Vil could sneak in here. I, I doubt she would be. I imagine she'd be spotted, but she should be able to run in. Red can stop this Vil from walling off. Might even kill her. This might have been a tower vill, but still, imagine if this villager ran in the walls and built an archery range. Let's see where it goes. The vill's dead here. All pressure at Blue's base. Blue might not have spotted that vill. Okay, I think he did because he's reacted with quite a few villagers here. He expects a forward of some kind. Oh, man. <laughs> this is a victory for Red because this looks like an overreaction of some kind. And look at her! Sneak by! Look at this! Someone in the spectator chat on Boobly is laughing because he knows that Blue's looking for the vill. Ah! Okay, spotted her. Hey, he's, he's gonna build a watchtower there. Oh no. We wall her in. Wall her in. And then kill her. That's funny. That's funny. The vill was spotted, unfortunately, for us. But you can just tell how much this is done. Blue had the wall with extra villagers here. He's chasing with these vills. Most likely was trying to go up to Castle Age. And now his economy is running around punching things. Now this is this is the most effect this is more effective than any drush we've seen today. <laughs> this is one vill. The new meta here, guys. Forget about the drush. Just go for the the vill the vill rush. The vill distract. Unfortunately she has died, but she has played her part. And red back at home. Oh, T90 walls, guys. I actually think this is a fantastic idea with this map. And especially because blue is, is full walled, you need to wall yourself here. So T90 walls, great decision, I think. Sending out a few archers, be annoying. But, oh, great pick. Look at this, the wolf helped blue. And he has his scout here. He's killed two archers with help of the wolf and with just his scout. The red with the good investment sending the vill forward with the distract, but good investment for blue get this free kills and there's also a hole here he can try and scout his opponent if he wants to i imagine that this is where the next archer range will go for red i don't know why he left that open uh pretty slow start to be honest with all the walls here but we will see castle age and then we'll see how the zip bonuses apply the strong economy is already applying now for song song because he has free wheelbarrow while Blue would have to research that at some point. But then again, Blue has cheaper technologies, so it makes it simpler. T90, have you ever pl uh, played on Game Ranger? I did play on Game Ranger once or twice. It's weird. There's, there's a decent amount of people playing there. They don't play the expansions or anything. Um, and they also just don't have as much... as many features as Boobly has. It's just not the place to play Age, in my opinion. But uh, it's just weird how many weird settings they play. Like, if you want to play 1,000 pop... 3v7, no rush, 52 minutes, all explored, all tech games, <laughs> then go to Game Ranger. Because I did check out the lobby about six months ago. I just wanted to see if I could pass some games from there to see what was going on. I never got around to it, but man, there was some weird, weird stuff going on. Let me tell you that. Well, this is just... Straight fast castle for blue. Blacksmith market doesn't have a barracks. We'll need that if he wants to go for an archer range or a stable. And then the walls from red. He's secure here. Smart for him to stonewall behind the houses. Too many times I wall up. And then I realize that the house is the weakest point. Still exposed over here, but that's further away from where his opponent would go. Red still hasn't clicked up to castle. Blue is very close to that upgrade. So what do you think, chat? What do you think? What do you want to see here? Who are you rooting for? I know you guys probably have some opinions in your brain. Let me hear it. I, I, My opinion is this is very passive play, but he could actually be rewarded. Song Song is now on the way to Castle, but we're going to see a second TC for Blue and a third TC. And there's only one archer range for Red, so, and he doesn't have archers, so... 
those TCs are going to pump out a lot of bills. You saw Song Song actually needed the market, so he could advance. So I don't know. I think Song Song is going to need to think about second archery range, I create crossbows, maybe go for a forward siege workshop. Now look at these two golds here. That'll be so important to him later on. And he knows what his opponent's up to because he had his scout running around inside the space. It's still there. Definitely think Song Song should be aggressive. The Vil count will climb for blue. Obviously an idle TC if you're on your way to Castle Age. So right now it is going to be probably even after all these TCs create villagers. I don't store my opinions in my brain. Do delicious. Get him out of your foot then, man. Get him out of your foot and send him my way. I'm rooting for land because I bet on him. Got it. <laughs> Got it. I I think that Vils are a very deceiving thing in games sometimes. I think that casters are somewhat at fault. It's an important thing. But if you're not doing anything with your boom, then it'll be a problem for you. If you give up map control, it can be a problem for you. How many times have we seen players win games when they're behind 10 to 15 villagers? Because they have the military and their opponents being greedy. Sure, villagers bring in more eco, but I don't agree with the way blue is playing this one right now. I love how red is still using his scout and he's trying to kill the farms every time they're placed. If you don't know, when you go to build a farm, it shows up for your enemy and it'll have 1 HP. And just distracting with the scout, trying to idle the TC. The blue has no clue what's coming here. We're going to see a siege workshop. He doesn't have a barracks, which means he can't build an archer range, which means he can't build a stable. This is just a, a full boom. And now he has the vill lead, but there will be a Maganel here. He doesn't have a siege workshop. I mean, he might win. He very well could win, but I just don't like the style. This is a dangerous style, and this is a great response from Red. In fact, what I think we'll see from Red a few Maganels, he might stay on one TC, and then he could build a castle in a forward position, and as Hank said, go one TC imp. I don't, I wouldn't agree with it being a fast imp, but it'd be a, a lower eco imp. You know, can you do a community game where eight players are crammed into a smaller map? Yes, yes, we can definitely do that. We've done that in the past. We can do that. The other thing about Chinese now is because they have such an open tech tree, we could actually see redemption researched. I believe Chinese get redemption. And redemption means that the monks can convert the siege here. But man, <laughs> look at this. Red, he's, he's gonna pile on the towers. And he wants to build a castle here. So this is what's gonna happen. We're probably gonna see a castle for blue. Or for, for red. I was thinking castle, but I guess he's gonna try and tower hop through here. But anyway, this is the main gold for blue. He doesn't have any other gold in his walls. This one's out here. He can't leave his base because of the enemy, enemy military. This is great aggression from Song Song. Song Song is down 17 bills, but he's going to kill this town center. And now blue doesn't have gold. So people in the chat maybe thought, hey, this game's over. There's going to be more bills, but that's not how it works. You can't beat this greedy. Also, I love how Song Song has thought about the fact that his opponent would defend with monks. And he's researching light cap. That way he can kill the monks. And we are going to see another tower rush. Forget the castle. Let's just go for towers. This is a sick move. Blue's saving up all of his stone so he can build a castle and try and get all this back. But this is a disaster for him. The monk goes down. Will the tower go up? Oh man, the villagers are exposed. One vill goes down. The Maganel from blue. Can't help but feel that Song Song wasted an opportunity there to stop this tower. Blue wants to build his castle. He has the stone for it. He needs good Maganel trades. Oh no, don't kill your own. Don't kill your own Maganel. No! Song Song almost killing his own Maganel with the splash damage. This is where the other gold is for Blue. He's actually going to go make a run for it. And there's a spear there for Song Song. Song Song is going to keep an eye on that. This, this has turned into a very cool game. Non-mirror matchup. Great Maganel shot for Song Song. 
another good Maganel shot for Song Song. Uh, this tower... You know what? He's going to be able to repair and keep this tower up. This aggression is impressive. Unfortunately for him, he doesn't know about that. The spear is not patrolling. That one thing could still give the game to blue. One TC for red back at home, I believe. Yep. It's impossible to go for three town centers when you're piling on this much aggression. So hard to focus on. Song Song sees the castles on the way up now. He knows he probably can't push in much further. He's taken out this tower. Maybe he will be tempted to slide in here and get a few vil picks. Meanwhile, Blue has a Maganel on the way. This could be nice timing for him. The castle's going to go up and he'll have his own Maganel. Wow. Not too bad for Song Song. Song Song did end up losing this one to the conversion there. But I thought it could have been much worse. He's still going to keep two of his Maganels alive with help of the towers. Crazy game. And this has been scouted. The light cab over here on this gold. Song Song knows what's going on now. He knows his opponent has more T. Look at the farm TC for blue. He built a town center just so he could build farms around it. It's so bad. You should have built it on the wood line, but he just didn't scout it because of his passive play. I would love to see Song Song click up on one TC. Go for a castle here and start trebbing down all blue's economy. Maybe just take this gold from him now. Even stonewall it up if you want to be aggressive enough. That way your opponent can't take it later on. He ends up pushing back. But this castle does provide security for blue. Everything behind it is safe. This is his one vulnerable area. And at that vulnerable area he has two canoes. Uh, two canoes are dead now. We're going to see another tower from Song Song. I guess he was lacking his buildings to click up, so he wasn't able to do that. He's building the monastery at home. And we're going to see another castle from blue. Yep, another castle from blue. Song Song doesn't see that. Song Song is doing everything right here. I mean, small mistakes that we can nitpick on. Like, we could easily say, all right, you probably should have sent the light Kevin here to see the castles going up. But realistically, he's never going to stop this. He just needs to keep his opponent off the gold. And that is what he has done here. This gold is still not available for blue. This gold, not available for blue. And Song Song's on the way to him. He's close to having the stone for a castle. Meanwhile, blue has all this economy, but it's been running all over creation. It seems like he's going to be in castle age forever at this rate. I'm trying to make a move back to this gold and kill these towers. I don't think Song Song's going to let that happen. This is such a cool game. Such a cool game. Now there's the castle from Song Song. So he has the tower securing the gold here. And he has the castle securing this gold. And this TC could go down. Not to mention that we will see trebuchets for red. The other thing is, guys, when you have multiple town centers, it's not just the fact that he's had to relocate and add town centers but it's the fact that you keep your town centers producing so you're not going to have food banked up when you're on one tc you're going to have food banked up because you're not creating as many bills so when you add town centers you understand that okay i'm not going to be up as fast but i'm going to have a stronger economy when i do up you know, blue here is just in an awful position now but then again, Song Song's attack is going to be very fragile because he's on one town center. So Blue could, and players do in this situation, sometimes come back while just building Castle Age military versus the uh, Imperial Age military. And this is actually one of my favorite aspects of this game, when we have one player going for a completely different strategy and build, a 1TC, while the other one goes for higher economy. But the decision needs to be made from Blue now. He has to figure out what he wants to do. Because if he, if he tries to go to Imp, then he's not going to have any defense for what goes down over the next couple minutes. But if he tries to go Castle, he needs to calculate it and figure out, look at this! That's it right there! It's going to say he needs to calculate and figure out how much damage he can actually do. And he can't click up to Imp. He wasn't close. He had only 571 food after all the, the units he was creating were canceled. That's what happens when the game ends. And uh, 
Red just kept brilliant scouting on all the extra golds. Guys, that is an amazing game to learn from. And that just shows the quality that Song Song has here. Because again, he didn't have the economy, but he knew one thing. He knew his opponent was walled in, and he knew there was a gold here. He knew there was a gold here, and he knew there was a gold here. He completely denied it. He was going to have a trebuchet, two trebuchets on this castle. And very impressive stuff. That, that's how you need to play this game. That's how you need to play this game. Wow. I think that Blue always was hesitant to run out here earlier because he had this gold. And then once he lost this, he knew he had to batter down these towers and go out this way. Uh, had he gone while the towers were there, he probably could have made it past, but Red would have seen him. The Red could have slipped up and forgot about this, but he paid attention to it, and that's the game. Another side note is that Blue was very close. I can't see his Fog of War now, but he was very close to getting this neutral gold. And I kept looking over that direction. But wow, what a game. That was definitely the best game out of the stream so far today. Elite Champion, thank you so much for that sub, man. Welcome to the stream. Here's the statistics for you guys. All right, there's the units killed, the units lost, the eco difference. This is also quite telling. Um, you know, the, the food in the wood makes sense for Blue because he had the extra town centers, and oftentimes you're adding a lot more farms, and you are sending a lot of the bills out of your TCs to wood. That makes sense. Gold difference heavily in favor of red. But all the extra economy contributed to nothing for Blue. His largest army was nine. Like I said, I thought he was too passive. Imagine if he went with two town centers right when he hit Castle Age instead of three and went with a defensive siege workshop and monks. If he did that, I think he would have been cool. But no, a little bit too aggressive with the boom there. And that's the end of that game. Uh, let me see if there's any games going on with Spring still. Yeah, I think we're going to switch the players, guys. That's cool with you.